Good morning, everyone. Please stand and welcome the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Honorable Alejandro Mayorkas, and Director of the Center for Countering Human Trafficking, Mr. Cardell Morant. Please be seated. On behalf of Secretary Mayorkas and Director Morant, welcome to the DHS Annual Awards and Countering Human Trafficking Ceremony. We are here to recognize the hard work and dedication of the DHS personnel and partners who have made exceptional contributions to the DHS counter-trafficking mission over the past year. It is now my privilege to welcome to the podium the Secretary of the Homeland Security, the Honorable Alejandro Mayorkas. Thank you very much, and, and good morning. I, I might ask um, if there are family members uh, here. Would you be so kind uh, as to stand, uh, to stand uh, if there are any family members here? Um, perhaps the, uh, the inclement, uh, whether we have uh, one here. I, I, ask, I ask for that because uh, when uh, we serve, when all of you serve, uh, the family serves as well. And so thank you, sir, for, for being here. And please, to all of you, express uh, our gratitude uh, to your families uh, for their service in, um, in really advancing this uh, critical and heroic mission that all of you uh, fulfill. I remember a few years ago, I uh, went to a shelter for victims of human trafficking. And um, I was struck by two very, very different uh, aspects. One, in just hearing uh, the stories uh, of the individuals who were resident in the facility, um, the capacity uh, for cruelty of some human beings in victimizing others. On the other hand, uh, and uh, no less dramatic, was just an extraordinary um, admiration for the resilience of the human spirit. How people could suffer so much and yet um, from victims become survivors and be able to, despite what they had suffered, uh, build a productive and beautiful lives in the ensuing days, months, and years. And uh, there's an extraordinary divide between those uh, phenomenon and um, you um, bring accountability uh, to the former, and you make the latter possible. Uh, you bring accountability to the perpetrators of this heinous crime, and you also create the space for individuals to rebuild their lives and actually become um, survivors and continue to be contributing uh, members of our world and build a life for themselves uh, and for others. Uh, the fight against human trafficking is one of the most significant priorities of this department. It was articulated very expressly in our priorities last year, and it continues to be articulated expressly this year, and I hope that it is an enduring priority. The fact that we were able to institutionalize the Center for Combating Human Trafficking uh, is a testament to the work that all of you perform. We are institutionalizing um, this work as a core part of our department. I want to thank uh, Director uh, Morant uh, for his leadership of the center. I visited the center not for the first time, but I visited uh, last week. I got to see uh, some of you uh, there, and it was an extraordinarily inspiring visit and um, uh, a 
makes me so incredibly proud to work alongside uh, all of you uh, and to be here today to recognize our award recipients. I want to thank uh, the leaders uh, who are here, the Deputy uh, Secretary, uh, BJ, Ann, Steve, um, who lead the charge and really create the environment uh, for all of you to pursue this extraordinary mission and uh, bring the heroism of your spirit um, uh, to your, the heroism uh, of your actions. And we in this department uh, take a very, very aggressive approach uh, to accountability. Uh, we sometimes uh, receive headwinds and we fight through those headwinds because of the profound morality and the imperative of the work that we perform. Um, there are others, of course, in this department who do this work. Uh, all of you deserve to be recognized and receive an award, and I want you to know that by recognizing our recipients today, we bring honor to all who work on this critical mission. So I'm incredibly uh, proud to be here uh, during this ceremony, and I have just um, an expression of deep thanks for everything that you do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for those remarks and for your continued support for the awards program and for your unwavering commitment to bringing the full measure of DHS resources to anti-human trafficking efforts. Today's ceremony will celebrate the hard work and commitment of those being honored here each of whom have made outstanding contributions to the fight against human trafficking. During today's award ceremony, we will share a brief description of the recipient's honors. Several teams will be recognized, and one individual has been designated to accept each award on the team's behalf. Please hold your applause until the team member comes to the stage to receive the award. We also ask that all team members in the audience stand when their team is announced. Our first award is the Secretary's Award for Excellence in Endeavor in Countering Human Trafficking. This top honor is based on exceptional counter-trafficking efforts that stand out beyond all others. It recognizes DHS employees who used working partnerships with outside organizations that enhance the department's ability to further the DHS counter-trafficking mission. The award recipients demonstrated superior performance, significant operational results, and extraordinary accomplishments through their collaboration with an outside organization. This year's Secretary Award for Excellence in Endeavor in Countering Human Trafficking is presented to the Homeland Security Investigations Cleveland Forced Labor Investigation Team. In July 2020, HSI Cleveland initiated a first-of-its-kind investigation to address forced labor in the global supply chain of a Fortune 500 company. Demonstrating the importance of non-government organization and private sector partnerships in ending unlawful forced labor, forced labor practices. The investigation was based on information from an NGO partner, and as a direct result of the team's efforts, the company severed its relationship with a foreign labor contractor, assumed oversight of the, until then, inadequate housing of foreign workers, and engaged in settlement negotiations with foreign workers that led to a nearly $3.2 million settlement. Would the recipients of this award please stand? David Gibson, Sherry Harris, Barry Harsa Jr., Andrea Isabella, Margaret Kane, Ravindran Selvaraj, Jennifer Williams. I would. I would now like to invite Special Agent David Gibson onto the stage to accept the award on behalf of the HSI Cleveland Forced Labor Investigations Team.
Our next award is for innovation in law enforcement in countering human trafficking. The award recognizes an individual or a group in the field or at DHS or component headquarters who significantly advanced human trafficking investigations and enforcement, overcoming challenges, and adopting creative solutions in advancing victim protection efforts. The Transportation Security Administration's Federal Air Marshal, Brittany Latouche, currently assigned to the DHS Center for Countering Human Trafficking, instituted a process for law enforcement agencies to obtain travel records in support of criminal human trafficking investigations. Air Marshal Latouche also requested more than 50 special mission operation coverage operations targeting suspected human traffickers in 2022, and she personally briefed the teams assigned to these flights to ensure support for the investigations and enforcement actions. Additionally, Air Marshal Latouche started an outreach program to better educate TSA personnel and others on supporting the investigation and prosecution of human trafficking offenses. Air Marshal Latouche, please come forward to accept your award. Thank you, sir. Our next award, the Excellence in Intelligence and Countering Human Trafficking, recognizes DHS personnel who significantly advanced human trafficking investigations and enforcement, overcoming challenges, and adopting creative solutions in advancing victim protection efforts. This year's award goes to the HSI and Science and Technology Directorate Streamview Team. HSI Portland, Maine, under HSI's Operation Corregidor, and in partnership with HSI Innovation Lab and the DHS S&T Directorate, developed a new technology called StreamView that is having an, ex an exceptional impact on HSI's ability to rescue children who are human trafficking victims. These efforts have reduced the amount of time investigators spend on a case from months to weeks, and in some cases, just minutes. These, this joint effort has resulted in significant outcomes with the rescues of 53 children and three adults, 32 arrests, the dismantlement of seven trafficking networks, and the generation of 109 investigative referrals to date. Would the recipients of this award please stand? Anthony Castellanos, Pamela Beresford, Joel Braillard, Travis Brown, Kimberly Kristoff, John Clifton, Martin Conley, William Krogan, Shane Cullen, Jeremy Davis, Dana Fiendaka, David Fife, Christopher Fitzpatrick, Scott Homan, Robin Jasmine, Jennifer Krismer, Benjamin Ludke, Ginny Matica, Michael McGonagall, David Palowski, Jason Palowski, Ronald Phillips, Danya Rolfs, 
Brian Smizek, Michael Toasty, Eric Tracy, Mary Beth Turk, Patricia Wolfhope, Daniel Woods, and Christopher Yarnell. I would now like... I would now like to invite Special Agent Anthony Castellanos onto the stage to accept the award on behalf of the team. Our next award recognizes an individual or a group in the field or at DHS or component headquarters that has success successfully adopted, promoted, institutionalized, or upheld victim protection in accordance with the DHS counter-trafficking mission. Victim protection is a broad term that encompasses actions including but not limited to victim-centered training or policy work, improvements to victim benefits, enhancements to identification and screening, or safeguards employed during enforcement actions. This year's Outstanding Victim Protection and Countering Human Trafficking Award goes to the HSI Birmingham Multidisciplinary Team. In 2019, HSI Birmingham, Alabama led the creation of a multidisciplinary team known as the MDT. The MDT is a community-based effort in coordination with the Children's Aid Society, Child Trafficking Solutions Project, the Alabama Department of Human Resources, the Jefferson Family Court, the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office, various state and local law enforcement agencies, and regional victim service providers. The MDT establishes established protocols on how to best respond to cases of child sex trafficking. As a, as a result of these efforts, not only has the number of minor victims of commercial exploitation identified and recovered increased significantly, across the area, but so has the standard of care given to those victims. In 2021, the National Association of Juvenile and Family Court Judges chose the MDT as one of the most innovative programs in the country. And in March 2022, the U.S. Attorney General recognized it as a national best practice. Would the recipients of this award please stand? Bobby Ray Smith, Jan Bell, Kent Blackledge, Justin Bolin, Ellie Friedman, Crystal Gregory, Carrie Hill, Dr. Ashley Hodges, Dr. Kara Hulls, Carolyn Potter, Kate Riley, and Danny Williams. I would like to invite Special Agent Bobby Ray Smith onto the stage to accept the award on behalf of the team. Our final award recognizes an individual or a group in the field or at DHS or component headquarters that successfully used internal or external stakeholder engagement or training to significantly advance the counter-trafficking mission space. The Outstanding Engagement or Training in Countering Human Trafficking Award is presented to the UFLIPA implementation team. In December, on December 23, 2021, President Biden signed the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act, known as UFLIPA, into law. The UFLIPA required the implementation of a rebuttable presumption that imported goods mined, produced, or manufactured wholly or in part in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of the People's Republic of China were made with forced labor and thus prohibited from the importation into the United States. To successfully implement the UFLIPA in a short time allowed by Congress, U.S. Customs and Border Protection and the DHS policy personnel worked tirelessly and spearheaded critical collaborations with NGOs, 
industry, and federal partners. Thanks to the outstanding efforts of these teams, implementation took place on time and with minimal disruption to the trade community. Would the recipients of this award please stand? Elva Munyenton, Dina Amato, Kerry Azurin, Robert Bekalarski, Eric Choi, Joseph Clark, Joanne Colonelio, Evan Conceisau, Bruce Kulietz, Susan Dalpe, Cindy Echeverria, Altungo Emmett, Johanna Estes, Manny Estrella, John Everett, Dean Gloy, Maria Goodman, David Hampton, Mahmoud Hassan, Tasha Hippolyte, Kelly Johnson, TJ Kendrick, Leslie Ann Kessler, Robert Kosowski, Tamara Lagvilava, Yuri Lee, Katie Lee, James Madden, Autumn Maxey, Bridget McGovern, Sasha McNichol, Kimberly Milligan, Joseph Mills, not done yet, Rachel O'Mara, <laughs> Hannah Peck, John Pickel, Therese Randazzo, Chelsea Reyes, Erica Ribeiro, Stephanie Riddick, Diana Sassman, Emily Simon, Connor Snitker, Evan Thomas, Susan Thomas, Anika Van Gelder, Edward Wakovec, Virginia Wake, Laura Webb, Anya Wellborn, and Shireen Youssef. I would now like to invite CDP Assistant Director Elva Munyatun to the stage to accept the award on behalf of the team. I would now like to invite the Center for Countering Human Trafficking, Director Cardell Moran, to the podium. Still morning. Good, good morning. My remarks started with good afternoon, but we didn't go that far, so good morning. I'd like to begin my remarks with some sincere gratitude. First, I'd like to thank Secretary Mayorkas for creating these awards and participating in this inaugural event. Your enthusiasm and support for counter-trafficking work across the department is inspirational. In fact, the achievements we honor today would not have been possible without your unwavering commitment. Second, I'd like to thank today's MC, Rob Bartolo, as well as Kate Kennedy, the organizer of this event, and all of the team members at CCHT and DHS who made this award ceremony a reality. Finally, I'd like to thank Congress for passing the act that codifies the CCHT. They recognize the value of what a strong CCHT can bring to the entire department and how the CCHT can uphold and advance the counter-trafficking mission. I'm optimistic about our progress and committed to the growth and maturation of the center into what it needs to be to further support all your efforts. Once again, congratulations to all the award recipients on their outstanding accomplishments. While your, while your achievements are uniquely your own, we can all be proud of how your work has highlighted the best of DHS and the vital importance of DHS's counter-trafficking mission. Your efforts reflect the level of commitment to which we can all aspire. They remind us that what we do makes a great difference, especially when we work together. It has been a pleasure recognizing your exemplary, exemplary efforts today and it is a pleasure working with you and for you every day in a mission so worthy of our efforts. With that, I'll turn it back over to Rob to conclude this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Director Moran. We want to thank each of you again today 
for being here today. Please give one more round of applause for all of the award winners. This concludes to this year's award ceremony. Congratulations again to all the recipients. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, folks, now the ceremony has officially ended. Uh, the secretary and